Now let's take a set of vehicles, okay, and then join the letters to write it. First, what is the big vehicle that goes on the road and lots of children can get in, people can get in? Supposing you have a school, uh, you have a whole lot of children to go to school from one place. What is the big vehicle we use? Bus. In the bus, you can put five, fifty children, sixty children. Bus. How do you spell bus? B U S. Bus. When you go on a long trip, the school takes you on a picnic. They hire buses. Yes. Now, do you like to go in a bus? What do the teachers say? Put your head and hands out of the bus. Sit quietly. Spell bus. B U S. Bus. Shall we write it? Kurt. B. U. S. Bus. You like to tra travel in a bus? Yes. Let's write the B capital. E. U. S. Bus is a large vehicle. Can carry lots of people. Yes. Next, mommy takes you or daddy takes you to school in a smaller vehicle. What is that? And it's parked in front of your house. Tell me the name of the vehicle. Car. It is such a smaller vehicle. Few people can travel in. A small family can travel. Spell car. C A R. Car. Sometimes friends get together, carpooling, and you go to school to save energy. Yes, spell car. Let's write together. C A R car. Shall we write the C capital? C A. Are car. Now, people who work in the army, they have to travel on the hills, on rough roads, and there is a lovely, it's an open vehicle, and it's nice green in color. You might have seen one. Got strong, tough tires. It's called Jeep. You like to travel in a jeep? Good. How do you spell jeep? J. E. E. P. G. It's lovely because it's open at the back. Yes? Let's write. J. E. E. P. G. Let's write the J capital. J E E P G. Okay, what is this? G. Now dad says, Come, let's go on a trip, it's a holiday. So you hire a small vehicle but bigger than a car. What do you call that? Van. So ten of you or two families, cousins, get together and get into a van. And go on a short trip. Yes? Spell van. B A N van. Sometimes you go to school in a school van. Yes? Let's write it down. V A N van. Let's write the V capital. V A N van. Now let's look look at the vehicles we have written. First, bus. Spell P U S bus. You have seen the lovely buses on the road carrying lots of people. Yes? Next, car. You go in a car to school, or daddy goes to the office in a car. C A R 
खार जीप जे ई ई पी जीप जीप्स गो ऑन रफ्करा रोड ऑन द हिल्स इट कैन गो इट इज टफ नेक्स्ट फाइनली वी हैव बी ए एन वैन चिल्ड्रन गो टू स्कूल इन अ वैन यू कैन गो फॉर अ लॉन्ग ट्रिप इन अ वैन वी ए एन वैन नाउ लेट्स टेक अन अदर सेट ऑफ vehicles first name the vehicle that is very long what is that that goes on a rail It's got many wheels and it can carry thousands of people train very good like to travel in a train and look out at the window good now where do you have how do you get into the train you have to go to the railway station well train t r a i n train you like to have a toy train i'm sure you like to make the train go round and round yes let's write train t r a i n train train is the longest veget- vehicle isn't it number of bogies i mean it passes like to count the number of bogies the train engine can carry yes let's write the t capital t r a i n train sometimes that is a good you are big now you can cycle you must go to school on a cycle yes and you practice cycling at home with daddy and you so happy you like you go take the cycle to show your friend you like to cycle along your street yes spell cycle c y C L E cycle. And when you go to school, what do you do? You keep your bag at the back, and you hang your water bottle, and off you go. Let's write cycle. C Y C L E cycle. Let's write the C capital. C Y C L E cycle yes now have you been to the beach and when you look at the beach right far away you find something moving on the water what is that ship where there are large body of water like the ocean ship goes ship sails on the sea how do you spell ship s h i p ship some ships can carry passengers other ships carry goods from one place to another ship have you gone near the ship huge ship where do you see the ship dock yes you must go to the place where there is a dockyard it can see the ship being built ship coming in and going out a port yes let's try s h i p ship look s h i p ship shall we write the s capital S H I P ship there are streams and rivers you can cross the river in a small vehicle and what do you call that boat yes boat can carry about 50 60 people and it's lovely to travel in a 
boat from one side to the other. Spell boat B O A T boat. To get into the boat, you must go to a boat jetty where they keep all the boat. Good. Let's try it. B O A T boat. Let's write the B capital. B O A T boat. Let's look at the vehicle's name we have written. First, train. Spell T R A I N train. It's the longest ve vehicle. They can run on the rail and it can carry thousands of people. Good. Cycle. C Y C L E cycle. Cycle. You love to cycle around your house. Cycle to school, and if you have a cycle, you can help mummy to get things from the market. Good. Finally, we have here. Here we have ship. S H I P ship. Ship sails on the sea. It carries people some time. It can take lots of luggage from one place to another. It carries oil and things like that from one country to another. Then, there are small vehicles called boat. If you want to cross the river or stream, you take a boat to go to small distances. There are a lot of rivers, then very nice to travel in a tiny boat. Spell boat, B-O-A-T, boat. Let's take another set of vehicles. All right. Now, you might have seen in the stream, in the river, a boat with a very tall sail. And what do you call that? It starts with Y, yacht. That's very expensive. Some people keep it as luxury boat. And how do you spell that? Y, A, C, H, T. Yacht. Shall we write? Yes. Y. A. C. H. T. Yacht. Y for yacht, you say. Now, yacht is a luxury boat. Only one or two people can travel, but it has beautiful tall sail. Yes, let's write the Y capital. Y A C H T Yacht. All right. Now, Daddy has a two-wheeler vehicle. Yes, Daddy has a two-wheeler vehicle and you like to sit at the back and go with them. What is that? Scooter. What's the color of your scooter? Red? Yes. Or blue? What you like, daddy gets you. And I'm sure you must be having toy scooters. Yes? We to play with. Let's spell scooter. S-C-O-O-T-E-R Scooter. Yes? Let's write. S. C O O T E R Scooter. Shall we write the S capital? Cut. S C O O T E R Scooter. You get fruit, vegetables and other things from one city to another, one place to another. And it's an open vehicle. Can you tell me what is that? 
lorry. A lorry. People travel in the lorry sometimes, taking their animals, taking vegetables, taking fruits from one place to another to go to the market to unload and sell. Spell lorry L O R R Y. Lorry. Let's write L O R R Y. Lorry. Let's write the L capital. L O R R Y. Lorry. Next vehicle. It's almost like a lorry, but it's covered and people carry goods in it. Sometimes they carry vehicles in it from one place to another. And what is that called? Truck. Spell truck. T R U C K. Truck. It's always like a box and it is locked at the back. Truck. Let's write. T R U C K. Truck. Let's write the T capital. T R U C K truck. Let's look at the vehicles we have written. Yacht. Y A C H T. Yacht. A small boat with a tall sail that goes on the river or stream. Scooter. S C. O O T E R scooter. Daddy has a scooter to take you to school. You sit at the back with Daddy. Lorry, L O R R Y, lorry. Taking things from one place to another, animal or vegetables or fruits to carry from one place to another. They use lorry. It's an open vehicle. Truck is a closed vehicle, like a box at the back, carrying vehicles, carrying small vehicles like cycles or cars or any other goods, and they lock it. Okay, spell truck. T R U C K. Truck. Good. Let's take another set of vehicles. I'm sure your daddy has a big, huge vehicle, big two wheel. Which makes a lot of noise. What is that vehicle called? Motorbike. You like to go on a motorbike with daddy? Good. Let's try. Let's spell motor. M O T O R. Motor. B I K E. Bike. Let's try. Good. M O T O R. Motor. Bike. B I K E. Motorbike. Good. What is that vehicle that flies in the sky? You can go quickly from one city to another. Airplane. What noise does it make when it passes around you? Near your house, Zzz. yes, make big noise the airplane. And you like to watch it. Spell airplane, A E R O P L A N E. Airplane. You like to travel in an airplane? Good. Let's write. A E R O P L a N E airplane. What's another vehicle that flies in the sky, but only two people can sit in it? And there will be a big fan on the top. What is that? Helicopter. Have you seen a helicopter? Army people travel from one place to another. 
during calamities like floods and fire, they rescue people using a helicopter. Spell helicopter H E L I C O P T E R. Helicopter. Good. Let's try it. H E L I C O P T E R. Helicopter. Yes. Thanks. When people, emergency, old people, young people, anybody gets sick and you want to make them reach the hospital. What is the name of that vehicle? There is a red cross on it, a white huge vehicle that makes a noise on the road. Ambulance. When people are sick, they take them in an ambulance. Spell ambulance. A M B U L A N C E ambulance A M B U L A N C E ambulance. Let's look at the ve vehicles we have written first motorbike. M O T O R B I K E motorbike. Daddy has a motorbike. Yes, big huge one. Next, airplane. A E R O P L A N E airplane. It flies in the sky. It takes you fast from one place to another. Helicopter. H E L I C O P T E R helicopter. Army people use this to rescue people during floods and emergencies. Have you seen? Good. Next, people who are sick are taken to the hospital and back in a white vehicle called ambulance. Spell A M B U L A N C E ambulance. 